In this video, you will learn about program loops, what loops are, why you would want to use them, and the different types of programming loops available. Program loops are one of the most basic and most powerful programming concepts. A program loop is a certain instruction or a set of instructions that is repeated over and over again. The number of times that these instructions are repeated is known as the number of iterations. We're going to examine why you might want to use program loops by looking at an example, finding the average of a list of numbers. Without a program loop, conceptually your program might look something like this. You set the initial value of the total equal to zero. Then you would read the first number on the list, add it to the total value, read the next number on the list, and add it to the total value read the next number on the list and add it to the total value and you would keep going until you were done with the list. Then you would divide that total value by how many numbers were on the list. So if you had a list that was a hundred numbers long, you would need about 202 lines of code to take the average of that without a program loop. With the program loop, your program would look conceptually something like this. Set the initial value of the total equal to zero. Start the repeating loop. Read the next number on the list. Add it to the total. Test to see if you're done with the list. If not, repeat the loop again. If you are done, stop repeating and go to the step below, which is divide the total value by how many numbers were on the list. So for taking the average of a list of 100 numbers, you would need six lines of code with a program loop which is much more efficient than without the program loop. So programmers use loops when they have tedious tasks to perform, when they want to analyze data or perform repeated calculations in the coding process, and overall to make programming more efficient by reusing code. There are three common types of loops available in most programming languages infinite loops, conditional loops, and counted loops. Infinite loops are loops that repeat a set of instructions until one of the following occurs. The program encounters some external stop command. The program or the computer is manually turned off, or a runtime error occurs to stop the program. We have already seen an example of infinite loops in our programming with NetLogo. When you create a button to run a procedure in your NetLogo program and you choose the forever option when creating it, you've created an infinite loop. You click the button and it starts to run that procedure. You have to click the button again, supplying the external stop command to stop that procedure from continuing. That's an example of an infinite loop. A conditional loop is a set of instructions which is repeated while a certain condition is true. In order to use a conditional loop, you must establish a conditional loop variable that's initially true. The conditional loop variable must become false during the looping process. A typical conditional loop structure might look something like this. The conditional loop variable must be true before you start the loop. Then you would run the body of the loop, update the conditional loop variable, test to see if the loop variable is true. If it's true, run the loop again. If it's false, exit the loop and continue the program. The last type of loop we'll be looking at is a counted loop. A counted loop is a set of instructions which is repeated a certain number of times. In this case, you must establish a loop counter to keep track of how many times the loop is run. In other words, to keep track of the number of iterations. You must know how many times you want to run this loop or be able to calculate that number. A typical counter loop structure might look something like this you'd initialize your loop counter before you enter the loop. Then you run your set of instructions, increment the loop counter, test to see if the maximum number of repetitions has been reached. If it has not been reached, then go back to the top of loop and start again. If it has been reached, exit the loop and continue the program. So in summary, program loops are powerful and efficient. There are three types of program loops that we studied. Infinite loops, which are repeated until manually stopped in some way, conditional loops, which are repeated while a certain condition is true, 
and counter loops which are repeated a certain number of times.